What's up you guys, here, here. Uh, I want to say thank you for stopping by my channel and watching. I want to say thank you to the people that have shared and given their comments. And for the people that don't know, the reason why it looks like I'm not looking at the camera is because this is not actually a camera. It's actually my phone. This is an iPhone 7 camera, so it's good quality, but it's like the camera's right here and it's like I'm looking out to figure out, you know, why I look cockeyed or why I'm not focused on the camera. That's why. But anyway, we just gonna get into the video. You be yelling boom boom when you really poom poom. See my flow hotter than noon and drone drone. If Biggie was alive, he'd sign me. I'm this is about the time that I had to jump a gate and I found out that I was the side hoe all in one day. That's nothing that somebody should want to go through all in one day, but I had to endure it, and because of that, I'm a stronger person. Of course, after the fact, I was like there, that I was embarrassed and shit, but, you know, I easily got over there because I'm a motherfucking man. Anyway, so... I was on Facebook one day and I'm just like scrolling. Like I if for those who know me personally, like I live on Facebook. Like I'm always on Facebook. And even when I'm not on Facebook, I'm on Facebook. And so like I'm scrolling through my Facebook or whatever and I get a message. And it's from this person. I'm not gonna put out, you know, no names. I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna call we're gonna call this person Bing Pie. I don't know, I couldn't think of nothing at the at the moment, but we're gonna call the person Bing Pie. So anyway, so I get a message and it's from Bing Pie. I don't know Bing Pie, Bing Pie don't know me, but what I do know is Bean Pie kept popping up and my people you should know. And then all of a sudden, I just get a, you know, a friend request. I accept it, thought nothing of it. So, weeks then pass, and that's when I get the message. And we like chit-chatting or whatever. Of course, we exchange the are you single thing. And both of us said that we were. So, we like talking or whatever. And, you know, we exchange numbers. We talking on certain times of the day. Thought nothing of it. And uh, you know, we were we started to chill and hang out more, but I would have to be gone at a certain time. I didn't I didn't process that because I was just kinda like so ready to like I guess start a relationship so to speak. And so I was just kinda like naive, like, you know, I'm like this is gonna be my boo or whatever, you know. And uh, one day I started to realize that, you know, for the past couple of days, Bean Pie had been acting very distant. We didn't really talk a lot through the day. We didn't really text. So I would text and say good morning. And Bean Pie would be like morning, like morning. When you say morning, you don't want to be bothered. That's how I took that. So I kind of caught the shade. So, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just still kind of like, you know, that's my boo go through stuff they need their little space or whatever but then it started to get worse like I will call like I know a day like 10 times I know y'all like this bitch is clingy as fuck but no it's not even like this it's just like when you dating somebody or you talking to somebody that you know you want to talk to them like I wasn't getting called I wasn't getting texts like I felt like I had got dumped so uh probably Maybe that probably went on for it. I know at least a week. Not really sure. It's probably a week, maybe a little less, but it felt like forever. So then my phone rings one day and I ask the phone, I'm like, hello. And I had just woke up. I didn't even bother to look at the phone. So I just picked it up and I, it is Bean Pie. So of course I go the fuck off. I'm like, I hadn't fucking heard from you in all this fucking time. Like, where the fuck have you been? You been ignoring me? Yada 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 yada. So of course you know they always have to get us like this little lame ass excuse. Like, I've been super busy and I got so much going on. I'm working all the time. I'm I'm 
I'm just, I'm out here trying to get this money. Like, I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. So I was like, when I'm gonna see you again? And the phone got like dead silent. I'm just kind of sitting there like. So when am I going to see you again? So then I was like, um, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So at this point, I kind of picked it up. I'm like, okay, so something, something's weird. Cause something's really, really off right now. Like I'm, like I'm gonna have to find out what's going on. Now, I don't like playing, playing. Inspect the gadget, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And even though I kind of felt like we were at that point to where I had to go stalking, I did it anyway. So where Main Pie lived there is a, a, a apartment complex, and it's it's gated in, and so you have to like get dialed in for someone to even let you in. Like, they, they have to, like, dial, you have to dial a number, it calls their phone, they either, you know, accept it or deny it, either you get in or you don't. So I called Bean Pie, because I was like, I'm finna come up, like, I'm not finna keep doing this with you. And Bean Pie hung up in my face. So I called, I called, I called, I called. Y'all know that, I know when I looked down at my phone, I had called, like, 20 times. I was shooting text message after text message after text message. Like, both of us have iPhones. We had iPhones. And so, only thing you could because I was like sitting like right after each other. No reply. I left voicemails. I did all kind of shit. Nothing. I heard nothing from Bean Pie. And it was just kind of like, you know, if you don't want to deal with me, then let me know. So, you know, I'm finna pull up on you. Either you gonna answer the phone, or I'm gonna pull up. Point blank period. So, I get over there, and I dial Bean Pie's number to let me in the gate. It got denied. So, that's how I know Bean Pie was hiding something. So, I sat there maybe, no lie, 30 minutes, waiting on somebody else that lived over there. To pull up, put their little number in, or somebody else to get buzzed in, so I can pull in behind them. And guess what? Apparently, nobody fucking lives there anymore because nobody pulled up within a 30 minute radius. So, it was like, you know what? Okay, Michelle said, Drop a gas station, bitch. It's a gas station, like right here. I pulled my car over to the gas station. You know what I fucking did? I walked over there and I hopped the gate. But the fucking killing part is, when I hop the gate, the back of my shirt caught the top part of my top part of the gate. So as I was coming down, my shirt split in the back. Like literally, it like choked me, and it was like hanging on. I don't know if you can see this, but it like this the only part that was still intact. Like I had like my back was completely out. So I was like, shit, it's summertime. Don't have a jacket. So, you know, I'm just kind of walking around the apartment complex, going to the apartment, like, with my back out, like, casual. I'm trying to play it cool, like, you know, they looking at me, I'm like, what you looking at? So I keep going, and I get to the apartment complex, and I beat on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Like, I'm the police. Boom, 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 boom. Nobody else. Called again. I beat on the window. Boom, 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 boom. Now these some weak ass windows, so I couldn't beat too hard. So finally, the door swings open. Just a little bit, just enough to get an eyeball out. I'm like, but then I realized that wasn't being my eyeball either. Like in the back of my head, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Now, this is all within like a millisecond. I'm like, I say in the eyeball, like, this is not being my eyeball in the back of my head. I'm like, what the fuck going on? So, we're going to call this bitch Goldfish. So, Goldfish said, uh, Who are you? And I'm like, Well, I'm here, of course. Who are you? Oh, you're the bitch that keep calling the phone. Somebody 
give me a calculator so I can calculate who this bitch talking to. Cause I don't think goldfish know at this point. So I'm like, you know, who are you? Don't worry about who I am. This is my apartment. I'm like, now hold on. So we are through the door and finally I can hear a bean pie voice in the back. I knew that shit was gonna happen. You motherfucking right. And you got goldfish coming to the door to talk to me because you don't have the vernacular to tell me yourself that you was dealing with somebody else. So, you know, at this point, I'm mad. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, who the fuck is this bitch? I still don't know who this bitch is. So I push the door open. So we arguing or whatever, you know, uh, I'm on country. I'm a little country. I'm a little ghetto. So. Pushed on the door, I don't give a fuck who the fuck house it is, you know. Bitch, I want my motherfucking answers. Bean pie is in there behind the door. You saying that bean pie is yours, I'm bean pie is mine. So, you know, I'm gonna figure out, you know, what the tea is. Like, you know, what's going on? Like, you know, what's you know what's going on? So I push the door open and like we standing face to face, we going in the bean pies in the corner. So I turn my attention off of goldfish and I said, you wanna explain what the fuck is going on? Bean pie replies. When I told you I was single, I wasn't completely honest. We was going through something, it was complicated and I thought that maybe I, I was single at the time. It wasn't that long after that we got back together, but I just didn't have the heart to tell you. So you mean to tell me like I wasted all my money, all my time, because I work 30 minutes away from where I live. I would, I would leave home early just to go see you before I went to work. Like, you kidding me? Basically, Bang Pop was like, you know, that was a choice that you made. And I'm like... Now, Goldfish is taunting me. Ah, you the side hoe, you the side hoe. Get the fuck out of my house, side hoe. Oh, bitch, you done fucked up. See, now I'm finna have to whoop your motherfucking ass and your own shit. And so now I get caught. Now, if somebody call me a side hoe, because me and my friends joke about being side hoes all the time. I ain't never had shit happen to me before, before then, so I didn't know how to take it. So now I'm so embarrassed, like, bitch, I'm about to get ready to beat your ass because you trying to show me out in front of this motherfucker here that clearly played me. Honestly and truly, you ought to be really, really upset at the fact that you just found out that you wasn't the only one either. Yeah, I might have been the side hoe, you the main hoe, but at the same time, it was still two of us. It's only supposed to be one. So you ought to be upset as well. But instead, you want to taunt me and shit, I'm going to whoop your ass. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to drag you. And not only am I going to drag you, bitch, I'm going to drag you by the roots. And so, you know, we, we arguing and stuff. And, you know, at this point, Bean Pie is like telling me, you need to get out the house. You need to go ahead and you need to leave and all this other stuff. And so, I'm like... You know what? No, bitch. Cause you done blame me. I'm not finna leave, bitch. I'm trying to shake the table. I'm trying to shake the table. I'm not finna get ready to leave up out here and you just tried to play me. But I know if I had a stay and got hold to Al one of them, I wouldn't be making this video right now because I'd be in jail for two counts of murder. So moral of the story is just because somebody tell you that they single don't necessarily mean that they actually single. You know what I'm saying? Watch the signs, because my dumb young ass did not watch the signs. This motherfucker clearly has some nice stuff in the house looking at you. You don't know nothing about nothing nice. Number two, like, it's stuff in here that don't even match your personality. Number three, I had to leave at a certain time. I couldn't come see you at a certain time. Like, these are just things that you have to really watch for. 